This module number two elaborates the automation for Classic LAN and VXLAN VPN fabrics, as well as the networks and uh, VRF deployment. Let's start with the Classic LAN deployment, and more specifically, let's focus on the new Hanan's Classic LAN functions. As we talk now, this feature is provided in a preview versions. It will be fully available with the next software release coming uh, with 12.1.3. When you need to add a new fabric to be operated by your NDFC service, you need to select a profile or template that reflects your intent. For example, if you need to manage a classic LAN, you will select, as of today, the classic LAN template. This uh, fabric template allows you to import a brownfield network, meaning you preserve the existing configurations on the switches. From NDFC, you can configure the uh, interfaces, the VPC, the SVIs, the routing protocols, or the spanning tree protocols, and more using the policy templates or freeform templates that will be discussed uh, in the next video. This LAN Classic template supports any NXOS-based platform, in short, all the Nexus switches. You can pause the video to view what is uh, currently supported uh, with uh, the LAN Classic profiles and uh, even the other um, fabric templates. The external fabric is quite similar to the LAN Classic. However, in addition to the Nexus series devices, it accepts iOS XE, iOS XR, and uh, even non-Cisco platforms. The external fabric can be used, for example, as a core layer 3 network, interconnecting multiple VXN VPN fabrics. And uh, NDFC can therefore automate the deployment for the Interfabric Connectivity, or IFC. NDFC introduces a enhanced workflow for unified underlay and overlay networks provisioning of uh, VXLAN BGP VPN configuration on the Nexus 9K and Nexus 3K series for the data center fabric. Or uh, you can use the Catalyst 9K series for the campus networks. The configuration of the fabric is achieved via a powerful, flexible, and customizable template-based framework. Using minimal user input, a non-tie VXLAN EVPN fabric can be brought up aligned with the Cisco recommended best practices in few clicks in few minutes. NDFC provides automatic external connectivity, such as VRF light and off, MPLS LDP or segment routing, with border nodes pairing with the appropriate edge, core, or WAN routers in the external fabric. A multi-site domain, or MSD, is a container that is created to automatically manage multiple member fabrics, an MSD is a single point of control for definitions of overlay networks and VRF that are shared across member fabrics. This way, you can constantly provision networks and VRF for different fabrics all at once. That significantly reduces the time and complexity involving multiple fabric provisioning. Last but not least is the new Hanans Classic LAN, which offers full automation for Classic LAN deployment, including overlay networks and uh, VRFs. As mentioned in the previous slide, as we talk uh, now, this function is currently in beta versions and is going to be covered within the next slide and demos. There are several reasons you want to manage your traditional networks uh, using NDFC. You may want to visualize the topology uh, for one or multiple data center networks, including a mix of classic LAN fabric with uh, VXLAN EVPN fabric. One key function when you centralize the operations using NDFC is the configuration compliance process that monitors if any configuration has changed on any device. You are assured that no one has used the console port or any other direct access to add or revoke configurations somewhere without uh, using NDFC 
Or if that is the case, then you are notified and you can immediately remediate to retrieve the original configuration. You can use NDFC to take a full backup on demand and save it. Mark it as a golden backup if you want, or you can schedule regular backups, right? So you know that at any time you can restore a reference configurations to uh, a single device or for all the switches. You can monitor the uh, network performances or to visualize the health of all devices in uh, real time. You can visualize the physical host and the virtual machines, including containers. All of operation tasks and uh, access and security domains are given to different end user roles for a fine control based on the profile and the responsibility of each user per security domain. And the new enhanced profiles for LAN Classic that offers, in addition, full automations for connectivities and uh, network deployment. Now, more precisely, uh, with the Hanant uh, Land Classic, you can provision a three tiers hierarchical architecture created with a VPC pairing in one click, automate the configuration of the spanning tree protocol, FHRP routing between the aggregation layer and the core layer. You can create and provision overlay networks and VRF, uh, SVI just in few clicks. You can also automate the deployment of VRF light from the aggregation layer to the core layer in few clicks. Like any fabric template, you are asked to view or modify the parameters as you wish or keep them by default. The only variable uh, which is mandatory is the PGP IS number. For all other parameters, such as uh, FHRP, you can change or keep them with the default value, select uh, EBGP or OSPF as your routing protocol between the aggregation devices and the core layer, keep uh, rapid uh, pervidence padding tree protocol or enable MST, and as the network expert, you can tune any timers if you wish. Remember that you can import an existing data center LAN classic networks into your fabric with uh, zero interruptions uh, for your production networks and continue to operate your networks uh, using NDFC. On the other hand, uh, if you wish to create a classic LAN network from ground up, NDFC will fully automate the configurations. You decide. These are the two design uh, supported by NDFC for a fully automated uh, design architecture. On the left side, you got the traditional three-tier architecture with uh, access layer, aggregation layer, and core layers. Layer two between the access devices and the aggregation layer, and the layer three between aggregation devices and the core layer. The other supported option in the right side is a design called Collapse Core, where the aggregation layer combines both layer 2 aggregation and layer 3 core to connect to outside the data center network. Now let's focus on the three-tier design architecture for the demo. For this demo, you will create a greenfield LAN classic and attach it at layer 2 toward a VXLAN eVPN fabric. When you run NDFC, you start first with the Nexus Dashboard menu. From the admin console of the Nexus Dashboard, select the service Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller. Now you are in the NDFC user interface. As you can see, uh, the overview is empty. Go to the topology. It is empty too. Go to the LAN menu and check under the Fabric tab. There is no fabric yet. You can create a new fabric either from this fabric tab or from the topology. Return to the topology and with the right click select add a new fabric. Give a name for your fabric. Select the fabric template you want to use. With the current version 12.1.2e there are two options. One is the standard version of uh, Classic Lab, but there is a new one which is known as Hanan's Classic Lab. 
and here it is running in preview mode. This is the beta version. It will be fully supported with the next release coming soon, 12.1.3. The Hanan's classic LAN template profiles allows you to fully automate the deployment of a classic LAN. Let's try this new feature. The setting for the new classic LAN appears. Uh, the only parameters you need to specify actually is the BGP IS number. You can keep all other parameters as they come with the default values and selections. All the settings rely on Cisco best practices. But if you feel the need to change any parameters according to your experiences, such as uh, VPC, shutdown, all interfaces by default, change the VLAN ranges, this is your choice. You can configure the bootstrap for PYP or on auto provisioning, schedule a regular backup, or configure a NetFlow collector. This is the place for that. But as you can see in this example, finally, the only parameter we specified is BGP AS number. Do a save and the Fabric Classic LAN appears. Now you can enter in the Fabric, which is empty. And we want to add the switch that built uh, the network. If you don't choose POIP to onboard the switches, then you need to enter a seed unit with its IP address from which you will discover all of the switches connected to that seed unit according to the number of hops from there. Here, two hops maximum. You specify if you want to preserve the running configuration of the switches or if you want to start from ground up. We want to start from ground up. When the switches have been discovered, select the concerned devices you want to onboard into your classic LAN and add them. Now you need to tell NDFC about your intent. Those you need to specify a role for each device in order to automate the configurations. Currently, all nodes are known as access node. This is because they are all the same models, right? So uh, from the detail view uh, and the switch tab, you need now to change the role for the two aggregation devices so NDFC knows what design you want to achieve with all access switches connected to the aggregation layer. Before we recalculate and deploy, let's have a look at the uh, port channels uh, created. There is no port channels, there is no VPC. Now back to the topology, we can refresh the physical connectivity with the aggregation nodes uh, that appear now. And, um, and now we want to create the VPC pairing with the right click uh, on, on the device. Uh, a pop-up window appears with uh, the recommended device to select for the VPC peer. Repeat the same for the other VPC access devices as well as for the aggregation switches. Remember, this is a traditional hierarchical architecture. So you need VPC at the aggregation layer. Now you recalculate and deploy the configuration for all concerned switches. Because you start from ground up, NDFC will push each device full configuration that explains the number of lines here. It takes uh, less than a minute to push the configurations, but uh, the video is uh, anyhow accelerated here to last uh, just a few seconds. You can close now the windows and open the detailed view to check the virtual port channels interfaces created automatically by NDFC in few clicks as depicted here. We can now create uh, a new VPC interface to connect a classic LAN to a VXLAN VPN fabric. Different interface types can be created, including uh, loopback interfaces or SVI or sub interfaces, etc. Uh, select the aggregation pair, uh, give a port channel ID, and specify the interface numbers to be added into this port group. 
disabled BPDU cards, so you will receive BPDUs from the remote node and you don't want to air disable the interfaces, do a save and deploy. At any time, you can always preview the configuration to be pushed by NDFC. You can close these windows, deploy the configurations, and uh, now close these windows and uh, close again these windows. Now you're back to the topology. Your classic LAN infrastructure is now deployed and ready to be used with different networks and VRF that we are going to create in the next video.